Look! Oh my gosh, I just saw this. There's a note yes, in it? Yes, there's a note in it from 1975. Store if we could find one. Yeah, well, there's definitely one in Wheeling. Oh, I yeah. just don't know what the hours are. So fun or not. You know what you're doing, hot rod? Not hot rod. I'm driving 16 and 55. In the rain. Okay, so we just went to the library and I went in there with the goal of only seeing only seeing if they had Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chbosky um, so that I could also, I could read along with the, with the audio um, and they did. So I'm so excited about that. I'm really, really enjoying that so far. I haven't gotten that far because at nighttime when I'm at nighttime when I'm reading, um, I'm just reading on my Kindle. So I've just been reading um, Women Who Run with the Wolves, which I'm really, really enjoying a lot. But um, I also find that sometimes I want to read a story as well. Like I would be happy to read Women Who Run with the Wolves for half an hour and then this for a half an hour. So I'm so happy that I got this. Um, but then of course I found other things as well that seemed really interesting to me. So I'm going to tell you what else I got. Um, this just sounded awesome. On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong. Vuong by Ocean Vuong. Um, okay, so it says, this is what hooked me, was just this quote. You're a mother, ma, but you're also a monster, but so am I, which is why I can't turn away from you. On Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous is a letter from a son to a mother who cannot read. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it just sounded really, really good. I went in with the hopes of getting more also um, nonfiction for nonfiction November. So I did, which I've never read before, but I've always wanted to, is A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. Um, I'm excited to read that because I got the large print. So it'll be easier for a silly girl like me to read. Um, I've heard that his his writing is really funny so I'm excited about this and actually the guy that was working at the library commented on it and said that this is way better than the movie um, 
which I've never seen the movie either, so I have nothing to compare it to, but I'm very excited about this. So I'm gonna hope to get to that. Um, I also got um, Conserving the Environment. I have never talked about my environmental standpoint yet. Um, I definitely plan to, but I haven't gotten to that yet. I just have kind of talked about books. But um, this sounded really interesting because I just read the back little part and it said, those who, don't, who do not know their opponent's arguments do not completely understand their own. Um, so it'd be really good for me to read something like this so that I can, I just feel like understanding is a powerful thing. So I'm excited about this too. Um, okay, and I have two more. So let's just see. It's just gonna be fun to try to get through all of these things for the rest of this month. So this sounded super interesting to me because I loved Lolita when I read it. Okay, so it's The Real Lolita by Sarah Weinman, Weinman. It's and it says the kidnapping of Sally Horner in the novel that scandalized the world. So I'm really excited about that. Again, I found this in the large print section, so um that should I don't know why I think that that might make it easier. Last night on Amazon, I was actually looking and somehow came across uh, came upon um, graphic novels. And as I spoke about, oh, we haven't posted that yet. The if we were villains, um, I haven't posted that yet. But I'm so I'm into Shakespeare. I've acted in several Shakespearean things, um, and I've actually, believe it or not, have never read Macbeth. But um, they have a graphic novel of it, and I actually came across it on um, Amazon last night and was actually gonna order it, but I'm so glad that I found it in the library. I've never read a graphic novel before, so I don't know if I'd really be into it or not, or I might love it, I don't know. Um, so this is going to be my first experience with it, but I just think it looks so cool and like might make it easier. I just think that that looks awesome. That is pretty neat. Yeah, super, super cool. A Shakespearean play in a graphic novel form. It's like amazing. So that, oh. This is my library haul. Isn't that insanity and beautiful? I think I got some really good things. I'm very, very excited about it. You know where we're going. And now we're gonna go to, we're gonna see if it's open. There's um, a used bookstore. It's just a bookish day. Um, there is a used bookstore a few towns over, um, but they have the craziest hours and you just never know when they're open or closed. So we're gonna go see if they're open or not, but we will film that because the center market is a cool place to see. So for those of you guys who aren't here, you wanna see it for sure. So we'll film that, I think. Okay. The bookstore that I thought we were gonna to go to is basically never open, as I said. And when we drove past, um, Number one, it was raining. Number two, we had the baby. And number three, we drove by and there were boxes and boxes of books just piled up in front of the door. And they were definitely very much closed. So we were very bummed out. Didn't think that we'd get to go there. But then we're driving and I was showing well where the old crystal shop that I used to go to used to be. And we drove by and we see a place that looks like a bookstore. And I had, oh, <laughs> well, it's too late now. No, you're good. So we found the best bookstore and it's not where I thought it would, it's not where I thought it was. That bookstore I think is closed or something. I think that the owner is sick or something. Um, so we found a different one. It's called Vigilant Books. And it was way better than what I could have imagined any used bookstore in our area. I'm very, very excited about it. It was, it like popped out to us and we stopped and we were there for hours, I'm pretty sure. 
So we got some good stuff there as well. Very, very exciting. They had all kinds of old books. Um, what's the word? Collectible. Collectible classic books. Um, so I'll save the best ones for last. So I don't entirely, um, I've heard a lot of things about Sarah's Key um, by Tatiana de Rosne. I've heard a lot of things about it. I have never read it, but I've seen lots of people's recommended reads and this is on there. So I went ahead and got it. Um, and The Catcher in the Rye is one of my favorite books. And this is a version that is very, very, very old. It feels like the pages are going to fall out at any, any moment. Um, I think that this version is from, it should be on that back page. No. Yep. Right there. Uh, this version was printed in 1962. So this is, bring it up closer. And if you see what it says there, what does it say? Um, This unusual book may shock you, will make you laugh, and may break your heart, but you will never forget it. I just think that that's really, really cool looking. I've never seen the cover like that. It's by Signet Books, Signet Books, but this is one of my favorite books. I've reread it several times, so I'm excited to have this version. Okay, and um, I got the graphic novel of Hamlet, but this one looked really, really cool too. And Hamlet, written by Mr. William Shakespeare, if you did not know. <laughs> the Tragedy of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark. This one is from 1963, which is super, super cool. It just smells like an old book. And I love that they're... still in this because it's a wide and we have all that stuff in the background honey we should never have moved it it was in the background the entire time anyway it's fine it, no it's not i don't want all that stuff back there it's i mean it's fine look your picture is wonderful you look great look how great you look I just don't know why the camera's way over there and it's picking me up over here. Whatever. Okay, well, I'll just let you know that my boyfriend, William, is right here right. as he usually is. Um, so if that bothers you or if that's a problem, yeah, then... We're gonna... cutting this okay, out. Okay, now he's... Okay, well, we'll just move. Um, okay, so Hamlet. See, now this is all like... Flustered. You feel lonely. No, it's just all flustered. It's not flustered. Yes, it's it fine. Is. You can cut all this shit out. Okay, and next. So this is one actually something that was cool about it was we took the baby in and a girl who I went to prep school with from the sixth to the eighth grades, who I haven't seen since the eighth grade, was actually working in there. And it's funny because we both immediately obviously recognized each other. And um, she has a little girl. So it was kind of cool because most of the time we were talking about babies and stuff. But um, that was cool to see her. But so she was kind of walking around the shelves with us and things like that. And she said she really recommended this book um and what i when i was reading it i don't know entirely how to say it i'm just going to do my best um dostoy dostoyevsky's passionate concern for people and his intense desire to grasp the meaning of life led him to explore the secret depths of man's struggles and sins. No action or thought was ever too corrupt or too inhuman for his understanding. So I thought that that was really cool sounding. I've never read this author before. Um, 
but she really recommended it. This is one of her favorite books. Um, and she said that she's never seen a cover like this before. So I'm going to check it out. It, originally it was 75 cents. At the time that it was sold, it was 75 cents, which is pretty cool. Um, but I just thought that the cover was really neat too. And it's just old. What one is this one from? <laughs> Nineteen fifty-seven. This book is from. So, I just love used bookstores because it's just the coolest too. Oh, look! And somebody wrote this here. You can see it. That's neat. That has a lot of character. I love that stuff. I don't know if you like um, used bookstores, but I just think um, I'll talk about it in another video. But. Um, I think it's really important to buy books secondhand. Of course, there are certain circumstances and whatever. If you like to buy new books, then I totally get it. But I personally like to buy used because there's more of a history there. You can get all kinds of different covers for them. Um, and it's books that would normally sit on a shelf or be forgotten about and not loved again while you're basically adopting them and bringing them into your home to love. So I just, I just think there are so many reasons, environmental as well. Um, there's just so many reasons to buy secondhand. Um, and secondhand bookstores are the best. I try to buy secondhand on Amazon. Um, but generally, Prime isn't included in that, and sometimes um, they're coming in all different packages. It's not like with Amazon, like if you just buy them new, you can get all of the books at the same time. They're not sent by multiple different sellers, so it's kind of like a hit or a miss with whether or not you can find several um from the same seller on Amazon. Sometimes I think it's just more environmentally friendly just to buy them new. Um, so I don't know if you have any experience with that as well um, or what you do if you're into the environment, how you go about book buying or reading or whatever. So um, we have two more. This, The Little Prince. I have never read this book, but it's another classic that I would like to read to the baby and um i've seen like lots of quotes from it but um again have never read it so and this is like a nice big version the pages are like really big and i just think that it'll be a nice like story for <laughs> you to be in it Last but certainly not least, William insisted that we get this and it was one of his favorites. He says that he's read it several times. I never have. Again, a classic that I have not read. And if you can guess what it is just by seeing that, then you probably know the story better than I. And it is the wind. Oh. <laughs> okay, so if you notice a difference in my hair or my background or whatever, it is because it the camera did it again. Um, I kept talking, but apparently the camera cut off at a certain point. And I'm almost done with it anyways, but I just want to finish because this is the best um, part of the entire haul. The wind in the willow. So my boyfriend has apparently read it many, many times. This is actually the book that we will read to Roman next once we are finished with The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Um, and this book is actually from, well, okay, so. It's illustrated. It's illustrated. If you just wanna, I just wanna show you those illustrations. There's lots of beautiful ones. We're very, very excited about it. It's illustrated by Arthur Rackham. There's the baby. Um, it's by the Heritage Press of New York. Oh, the introduction is by A.A. A. Milne, who wrote Winnie the Pooh. I did not know that. Um, okay, and 
This edition was published in 1940. It is 2019. This is an old, old book. <gasps> Look! Oh my gosh, I just saw this. There's a note yes, in it? Yes, there's a note in it from 1975. Read what it says. Oh my gosh, do you think I have enough battery? Yeah, oh. you have enough battery. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I love this. It's it's published March 17th, 1975. Title, The Wind in the Willows. Author, Kenneth Graham. Is that how you say yeah. it? Yeah. Graham. My story is about a badger, otter, frog, muskrat, and mole. One day the mole and Mr. Muskrat went on a picnic and the otter came to visit them. They were resting in the shadow under a tree. Then there was a frog. He lived in a lovely house. It was called Toad Hall. I liked the book because it had a really colorful, it had really colorful pictures and there were long sentences. Sometimes there <laughs> they were a paragraph long. <laughs> My father and I read this book because we have it at home. And the author Spilled. spelled jail, J-A-L-E. over and what knows by ann it's this was written by ann fraker fracker and then she did a poem and they did an illustration uh, this is amazing that is so cool see that's why use books where this is the cool i did not even know that this was we, in we here we paid a lot for this book at how a, much was it huh it was over twenty dollars. Well, it was over twenty dollars for this book, but, but it was a collectible edition. Yeah, it's a collectible edition. It's it's so worth it to find a note like that that was written in nineteen seventy five. That's insanity. That's so cool, uh, <laughs> Mr. Curious. <laughs> That's cool. So okay, so that is the end of my library slash used bookstore haul. Um, I probably won't be doing very many of these. Maybe once a month I'll do a library haul. Um, but what if a you, rare find. this is yeah, it was such a rare find. I'm so so pleased with this. I'm so happy that we found that note in the back, the little book report. Um, so yeah, if you liked it, if you like seeing library halls, used bookstore halls, um, etc., then let me know down below. Let me know if you have a really cool classic edition. Um, I would love to see it. Or if you've made a video about it, then I would love to see it. Please feel free to link any of your videos down below. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, for sticking to the end if you did.